All right, I got a new knife from Cold Steel, and it's called the Holdout 3. Let's take a look at this little guy. It's got the plain edge, and the first thing I noticed about it was the very, very aggressive G10 scales. Even through with, with gloves on, it feels good. Without gloves, it feels even better. So let's see the overall, or the grip length is right at four inches the blade you can open the blade with the uh, thumb stud opens pretty easy blade length is right about two and a half inches overall length is about six and three quarters inches but this is a really fantastic knife i've been playing around with it for a couple days now and it's got some uh <clears throat> thumb notches on the spine which are not really really good it also has some traction notches on the other side you can see them right there on the sharp side to help you from slipping into the blade and it's got the uh, triad lock system it unlocks just like that but overall my impressions of this are really really good let's do a Quick little cut test on some pretty heavy cardboard. Cuts that cardboard really clean. Game razor sharp. I'm not sure what kind of steel it is, but it doesn't say. Should be able to keep this thing pretty sharp. All right, let's take a look at the weight of it. All right, the weight of this thing is right at 2.36 ounces 2.36 ounces is really nice a nice weight especially for the size it's just a it's a perfect handful should be a real nice EDC knife razor sharp very light it's be a nice one and one amazing thing about it is the thickness of the blade of the knife just over a quarter inch and compared to a Zippo lighter it's only two-thirds thickness of a Zippo lighter so it's light thin real easy to carry yeah and on another note just saw a couple of movies this one Cabin in the Woods by Joss Whedon the creator of Buffy the Vampire Slayer he wrote and directed this and to me this was a big big disappointment it was just a rehash of about five episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and it was just uh, it was about Human sacrifices, vampires, werewolves, big snakes, and it was supposed to be wicked, twisted fun, but I just found it very tedious. And the only good thing lately that was, is from Joss Whedon was Firefly, and that's long gone. Nathan Fillion is still around. And on another note, another movie I just saw was Seven Psychopaths. This was really entertaining, and it has some of the craziest actors. Uh, Woody Harrelson, Chris Walken, and this guy right here. I can't remember his name. He's one of these guys. It, maybe it's uh, Sam Rockwell. But he is from, he was the crazy uh, killer in The Green Mile. He's absolutely nuts. Excellent movie. This is a pretty entertaining one. So yeah, that's it. That's the new Cold Steel Holdout 3. Very nice. I don't remember the price I paid for. It was around 40 bucks. But yeah, this is definitely going in my EDC. I'm going to be carrying this one a lot. Knuckle bump.